Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I will be reacting to the trailer for After We Fell. The trailer came out early this morning and it kind of came out of nowhere like there was no warning, there was no countdown. They literally just dropped like three posters and then they went ahead and dropped the trailer. I was so surprised. I was literally still in bed when they dropped that. So I quickly got myself together and I'm now going to react to the trailer. I haven't seen anything but the posters, which I will talk about in a minute, but I will go ahead and link the trailer down below. I will also link all of my other after-related videos. Before I react to the trailer, I do want to say that I am a fan of the books and I am a fan of the franchise, so this reaction will be very positive, but I will say my reaction probably won't be that expressive. I'm just not very expressive when it comes to reacting to trailers. I kind of just like to watch it and then discuss it more. I'm not really into having a very exciting and dramatic reaction, so my reaction will be a little lame, but I love reacting to trailers. I just love watching them and then discussing it. I just think it's really fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and react to the trailer. As I said, I haven't seen anything. I kind of avoided Twitter this morning, but let's go ahead and react to it. I'm kind of excited, but also nervous. If you follow my channel, you know I have a hate-love relationship with the second movie. So let's see what this trailer looks like. Pain. Lately, I've become very well acquainted with it. The type that comes when you've been hurt repeatedly by the same person. You've been gushing about Seattle since the day I first met you. If he loves you, he could follow you. I was hoping that we would move to London after graduation. And how was I supposed to know that? Only in those rare moments when he pulls me to his chest and makes promises he never seems able to keep, does the pain disappear. I see a Relationships are complicated. You have a great job in Seattle, but I don't have anything there. You have me. Okay, that's not enough. If I'm not enough, it's your problem, but you're not going to stop me. I won't give up Seattle for you, so you just turn on me. This is what you do. You sabotage every good moment that we have. No, no, If I wanted to try and sabotage a good moment, I would have brought up another guy's number in your dress. You don't get to choose who I have as friends. I don't want to be your friends, okay? Coming I can't tell what's true and what's not. Damn, that actually looks really good and it looks more emotional and heavier than After We Collided. As I said, I didn't really like After We Collided, the movie. I just didn't like the direction that they went in. I had so many problems with it. I will leave my review for it down below if you want to know more. This one looks so much more just intense. Like, they have a very intense, dramatic relationship, and I feel like the second movie didn't really go there. Like, it, it got their dramatic, kind of toxic relationship, but it didn't get, like, how intense things are between them and how it's, like, all or nothing, especially for Harden. Hero and Joe look so great in the trailer, though. I really like their glow up. They honestly look so much older, and I kind of like how we're going back to Tessa narrating the story, because even though I know a lot of it is about both of their journey and about both of them, I've just always admired Tessa's strength and her whole journey. I've just really enjoyed that, and I feel like that was missing in the second movie, is we kind of lost Tessa's voice. I feel like it was very overpowered with what Hardin was going through and Hardin's issues, and I feel like the second movie kind of forgot that Tessa also has a lot going on. Their acting looks a little bit better, to be honest, and I feel like they have a little bit more chemistry in this one. I feel like the chemistry was kind of lost in the second movie for me personally, but this one looks like they might have a little bit more chemistry. I feel like, honestly, maybe because this set 
was a little bit more closed off because they were filming last fall and they filmed in Bulgaria so I feel like they had much more of a closed set so I don't think there were that many people that were there all day and I'm assuming it made the experience a little bit more chill. I feel like they look a little bit more relaxed in the trailer and I feel like that's maybe because of the set environment. I don't feel like I have much thoughts other than it actually looks really good and I'm a little bit more hopeful for this third movie which kind of sucks because it's like almost over. Like the franchise is almost done. This trailer definitely looks better. I feel like the trailer is a little bit shorter than what the teaser was. We also got three posters which is kind of weird. I don't know which poster will be for where, but we got three of them. I'm not exactly sure which one is my favorite, to be honest. They also finally announced a release date for the US, so it'll be released September 30th. And for me in Canada, it is coming out September 10th, and I will have my review up around that weekend. I'm also trying to think of like what scene I'm excited to see in the movie from the book. Even though I reread the book like two years ago, I still kind of forget a lot. I have a really bad memory. Also, it's kind of hard to think of what scene I'm excited to see because who knows if they've actually changed it in the movie, if they decided to include it or not, who knows. I like the song that they used. So far from the trailer, I really like the directing. It looks really pretty and I'm very excited to see Castile Landon's vision come to life. I am very hopeful. I feel like a female director is kind of what we needed for this whole franchise. Also, the sex scenes in the trailer look a lot better than after we collided. They don't look as raunchy and like sexed up, if that makes sense. Like, I just feel like after we collided, definitely sexualized Tessa a lot. And I feel like sometimes it kind of came out of nowhere because she's not all about sex, whereas like Harden is more like that. In the books anyways. So the sex scenes look a little bit more tasteful, I guess. We got a lot of the jacuzzi scenes and I'm surprised we got a lot of scenes of Robert. I'm also really happy with the new casting of Vance and Kimberly. I loved them and after we collided but I don't feel like they were old enough, specifically Vance. I'm sure the new casting is going to be a little confusing to people who don't really pay attention to the franchise and just go see the movies. I'm sure they're going to be very confused, but I'm honestly kind of happy with the recasting. I just feel like it kind of was pointless, like three movies in. I wonder how much of the storyline of Tessa's dad we're going to get in the movie, because we didn't see any of that. We also didn't really see her mom in the trailer, or not that I could see anyways, so I'm wondering how much of that storyline we're going to get. It definitely looks like we're going to get a lot of the Vance storyline, which I'm really excited about. So this trailer was definitely really solid, and it looks really good, and I'm pretty happy with it, so I feel like I'm more excited to see this third movie now. I guess that is it for my trailer reaction. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer. Let me know what you think about the whole franchise. Also, let me know what scenes from the book you're excited and hopeful to see in the movie. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!